Back everyone, Monday, of course, Martin Luther King Jr. Day. And to honor and celebrate the life of the late Dr. King, there is a special event happening in the capital city. And of course, the 37th annual Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Scholarship Breakfast. It's put on every year by the Hartford Alumni Chapter of the Delta Sigma Theta Sorority. And we are fortunate to have with us this morning Lakeisha Grant Washington, the president of the organization. Good morning. Good morning, Keith. How are you? I am great. And I was saying right during the commercial break, I have been lucky enough to attend this breakfast before. It is a great time. I am also the son of a civics teacher, so I know this mission well. But for folks who are not familiar uh, with your breakfast and, and this honor here, tell us a little bit about the annual tradition, why it's so important. Well, essentially, Keith, we get together every year to celebrate the legacy of Dr. King for two folds. One, for educational empowerment, and two, to continue at the forefront of our minds the importance of equality and social justice. So each year when the Hartford Alumni Chapter comes together um, with the community of the greater Hartford area, we put at the forefront those two focuses. It's an opportunity for us to re-engage and make sure that we recommit that we are putting forth our best efforts to build the best world for everyone involved. An incredibly powerful mission. I just have to say it's a lot of fun as well to throw that out there. Um, the pandemic playing a role in so much of what we see right now. What are you folks doing? How will it impact what you're doing on Monday? Well, essentially, Keith, you're right. The pandemic has impacted um, everyone, and we are all still learning to uh, to pivot in what I'm calling this third wave of COVID-19 pandemic. So essentially, this year in 2022, we are bringing forth the breakfast again in a virtual format so that everyone can still attend, and hopefully everyone still has a wonderful time um, coming out celebrating the legacy of Dr. King. So essentially, it's so much easier because you can tune in from home. So um, it's a podcast. It's still approximately 90 minutes in length, and you know, you you can tune in from the comfort of your own couch. Obviously, we're looking at some video from a previous year. I know you'd like to keep some things fresh, kind of add new things. Talk about this year's theme and why it's particularly important to our young people. Okay, wonderful, Keith. So essentially, this year's theme is Generation Next, Speaking Truth to Power, which is a sequel from last year's conversation, looking at civil rights, a movement or a moment. This year, we wanted to bring in the young adults and provide them the platform and the opportunity to really speak their truth, for them to share with us the challenges and changes that they see um, as necessary to build a future for themselves and to continue to move forward our world in the way in which everyone can um, be um, equal and that everyone has the same opportunities and that everyone is recognized. We found it to be important to speak to young people because they are, you know, the next generation is our future and we need to make sure that they're actively engaged and that we are bringing them along with us. Lakeisha, I love that it's not by accident that you're wearing your red today, a special day for <laughs> you and thousands I know of Delta Sigma Theta's really all over. Talk about this group of incredible women, why this day is so important and kind of what you've been able to accomplish as a group. Well, thank you so much, Keith. Yes, today is a very really important day for all of the members of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated because it's our Founders Day. So today we are celebrating 109 years of sisterhood, service, scholarship, and social action. Everything that we do is grounded in those four things. We are a, a group of women who come together to work towards building a better community for everyone in which um, the communities in which we serve. So we are definitely action focused. We are service focused. And we highlight that education is really important and promote that we want every individual to become the best version of themselves that they can be. So as we look at the history of the organization over the last nine years, that's what we want to have in the forefront, the service and the importance of education. So wonderful. And then just really quick where can folks get information on tickets? Oh, essentially, you can go right on Eventbrite. So you can see um, dstharford.eventbrite.com to purchase tickets, or you can um, visit our website at dstharford.com. And tickets are available for purchase utilizing PayPal or credit card.